Boxing Truth here. I want to talk a little bit about Felix Verdejo, an up and coming fighter from Puerto Rico, and one of the fighters in top rank staple. They're hoping to develop him into a, their next superstar. Perhaps maybe reach the levels of a Felix Trinidad or even a, maybe close to a Miguel Cotto. But 20 fights into his career, 21 fights into his career now, and for Dejo. And it's been disappointing his last few fights. He hasn't wowed any fans. He hasn't impressed anybody in his showcases on HBO, especially his last few fights. He hasn't put in any thrilling performances. His, he's looked downright average, pedestrian in some of his performances recently. And there's a lot of criticism that's coming towards Verdejo's way, and, it, and it's very well warranted. I mean, the guy is boring people to death in his last few performances. I mean, some of them are rigged out, like putting me to sleep, even. Especially his last HBO show, showcase on HBO against Silva. Damn, that fight was boring as hell. I mean, there was no action, hardly anything going on. Won the fight, but it was just... It didn't do anything for his career. <laughs> didn't impress anybody. Didn't wow any fans. Just went through the motions, won the fight. But didn't do anything in the, in the fight. Didn't do anything thrilling. Didn't make me say, oh, I want to see Felix Verdejo again. And it's continuing. His last fight, I mean, terrible performance. I mean, against a no-hoper. I mean, Verdejo can't even knock out soft touches on an Un Unamas-level platform. He went the distance with a, a, a tomato can. A guy who'd been knocked out twice before. And didn't do shit in this fight. Just looked downright pedestrian, average. And a lot of hate's coming down on Verdeo ever since. Since that fight, a lot of the writers are trashing him, saying that he's a hype job, that top rank and HBO are stuffing this, this hype job down our throats. I mean, look at the performances. Can't even knock out tomato cans. Can't even look good against no hopers and fights designed to make him look good. Why should I buy stock into Verdejo? You know, the writers are gunning on top rank and, and Verdejo. It's, it's funny, but tweeting at Carl Moretti, the, the VP at top rank, giving him credit for somehow getting Verdejo another HBO showcase against another no-name opponent. And that criticism is warranted. I mean, as an HBO subscriber, why should, why should uh, HBO be paying for for Dejo showcases in in, de in developing type fights. I mean, why can, why as an HBO subscriber should you want that? Shouldn't HBO be spending their money on on more real fights? I mean, why as an HBO subscriber should I tune in to for Dejo developing on the HBO platform? If he wants to keep taking development fights, why not fight on Unamas then? Instead of fighting more no name opponents on the HBO platform. Now the next guy he's fighting is a step up, but is a guy no one's ever heard of. He's fighting Juan Jose Martinez, ranked in the top 35. He's fought mostly in Mexico, has been stopped before. He's fought no one of note. He's fought only in Mexico in his career. He's fought between 130 and 135 pounds. He's the co. He's gonna be on the co-feature with Verdejo on June 11th at the Garden at the theater. Vasil Lomachenko and Roman Martinez will be the main event. For of course that fight obviously is happening in New York as Verdejo is has a a solid fan base. They're they're building him up, but he needs to start putting in some better performances. Now the criticism is coming to Verdejo. Some people. In boxing, say that he needs a new trainer. Perhaps he does. The guy he's with, 
Uh, he's never been at that level, this type of level before in his in, in his in his training career. So maybe a new trainer is something to consider because Verdejo is just not his development has stalled. He hasn't looked good in in, in a long time. He I mean he had some promise when he was coming up, and also he he showed some things in the amateurs. Had a good uh, fight in the amateurs against Lomachenko. Competed well. Has had some. Uh, some good knockouts in his development phase coming up, being developed by top rank earlier in his career. But he's had some injuries. He's had some issues with his, his hand. Had, had, had surgery on it last year, which stalled his, his uh, development. He was only limited to a few fights last year, I think three or two. And now, Top Rank is looking to get him very busy this year, make up for some lost time last year because of the the injury Verdeo had to his hand. He only he only had three fights last year. He was supposed to fight up to five times last year. He's still a young kid, only twenty two years old. Will be twenty three next month. Right now, he's definitely no Felix Trinidad, the next Trito Trinidad. He's he's. At this point in his career, Miguel Cotto was was showing a lot more promise in his fights during during his development stage of his career. So he needs to impress in this showcase on HBO on June 11th. I guess another no name opponent. He needs to do something spectacular. He needs to give some fans uh, a reason to to see him fight again. A reason for the hype HBO and Top Rank are putting on him, pretty much stuffing him down boxing fans' throats when he's not wowing any fans with his performances. Let's see what he has for June 11th. He better put in a good performance because if he, if he continues to perform like he did his last fight, I have no interest in watching Verdejo fight again. I don't need to, you know, pass out while I'm watching a fight. I want to be entertained. So... Let's see what he has for June 11th. He needs to show me something in this fight. The writers are getting on him. Very, and rightly so. He, he has critics, rightly so. He's, he's just not, he's not performing right now. He's, his, his development has stalled. Definitely, the panic button, it's getting close to being pushed. If He just needs to look good in this fight. He doesn't look good in this fight. He struggles or has another boring performances then the 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 panic button's gonna have to be pushed but y'all let me know what y'all think this is boxing truth i'm out